Hello everyone and welcome to Jojo's Brick Time. I have a really cool set to show you today. This is from Pantasy and it's the forest cabin and I love houses so this is going to be perfect for me. Looks like you get a pretty cool tree there and a little outdoor spa or hot tub. Looks like there's a lot of detail. The box looks really, really nice, like the box art. Over on the back here, looking at all these pictures, it looks very detailed and you can remove the roof and it's like a modular style build. So let's open it up and see what we get. Oh, so they use Go Bricks and pad printing for this set. That's cool, that means there's gonna be no stickers. And then we've got boxes in boxes. Wow, this looks really nice and professional looking. Wow, okay, I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna check out the packets and see what we get in this box. Pretty cool base plate there. Let's check out this instruction booklet. Adults welcome, of course, we all love building with bricks. And it tells you what packets do what stage of the build. I'm going to check this out to see if it's easy to read and it is. Okay, this is looking really good. Oh, and here's all their other sets that they have. They look pretty cool. Oh, Astro Boy, I've got him. He's awesome. And this looks like 435 steps to build this. I'm gonna rip open that other box and geez 2,000 plus pieces in this set. I'm looking forward to building this house. Alrighty let's do a review. Here's the base plate for the house. So it's very sturdy, it doesn't bend upwards, so that's what it looks like underneath. It's actually quite large, it's larger than what I expected. I have to really point out the printing on these tiles. They are really, really good. Look, that's the TV, we've got wall art happening here. I need more of these designs for my houses. So here's what bag two does. We get a little TV room. I think oh, it could be the bedroom. We popped in some stairs and I love that little bookshelf thing underneath. That looks nice. That looks very modern there. So here's the wall for the bedroom, lots of textures added, we've got a sliding door here and a nice comfy bed inside. We've got a little rug in there in the shape of a cloud, I love those pieces, they make good rugs. So that's what bag 3 does, I like the colour too. This is the kitchen and it's so nice. Look at the knobs on there and the printing on the panel there. We've got this really nice um, vase with a plant growing and we get this dining table with these cool legs. I like the checkered pattern for the uh, tablecloth and we've got a little fireplace happening there. Lots of cool building techniques in this. Here is the couch, love the sand green colour, the design of it, it's really cute, something different. And we've got an old fashioned TV going in with like the aerial on top. So I really like this, it is so detailed inside. The front of the house now, so another sliding door to get inside. Loving the lamps and I think that's like a power connector there. 
the plants look really cool. So we got lots of succulents growing here. I love the hairbrush there. But the dog's got no eyeballs. Maybe we can make him into a statue rather than a puppy dog. <laughs> and here you can really see the fireplace and the chimney going up now that I've popped that wall in. This is looking really good. <laughs> I love it. The upstairs now and we've got two large windows to let light in. Love the snot technique used to add extra texture at the front of this cabin and make it look more of a log cabin. Very modern chair there, I like how that's built. We get a pet cat in this set also with no eyes. Loving the cat stand cat tree and over here we get this little bookshelf and check out the little ship that's built I love that that's so much extra detail on there I want to build another one of those ships and then we get this foosball table so this is like the relaxing and gaming area in this section of the log cabin so I just got to work out where to put it love the plant there as well so many cool techniques So same type of wall on this side of the house with the two big windows and then we pop this part in so this is for the roof because you'll be able to remove the roof so it's easier to look inside and play inside but look at that fan that is built so well. <laughs> I'm just going to put the gaming area on top now. So this is fully removable. So it's like a modular style build. So you can really play with this house and see all the stuff that's inside. Just got to click it into place. Loving that staircase. That fan is brilliant. That's looking so good so far. Now we have the roof design. Lots of big um, panels here. So it wasn't too hard to build actually and it all holds together really well. We've got a little chimney there. We're going to pop it over here, make sure it sits in the right spot. So that's looking really nice. It is so easy to remove. And look at all those four big windows there to let lots of light inside. Pretty much the same type of build for this side of the roof, just no chimney. It holds together really well. I like how you place it on top of the house. So it just slots in really easily, so it's so easy to remove. Wow, this looks really nice. Every cabin needs a spa or a hot tub and this one looks really cool. I love the way this is built and I've got to pop all the water in so it looks all bubbly and foamy in there. Got to get them all in there. I really like this and it's detachable. Here's the cool twisted tree design and the bamboo behind the spa to add extra privacy. And then you just slide it here into place so you can click it in without breaking anything. <laughs> and you can move that spa around. There's another little garden area here with a picnic table, little garden bed and check out that sandcastle. That's a cool design. You get a barbecue also to cook all your sausages and meats on, all your veggies. I like how that's built. It's a bit tricky to put on but okay, there we go. And we need some steps to go into the cabin and I love that pot and flower design. Get a little letterbox there. So you can put your barbecue area near the spa or on the other side of the house it can click in. 
I'm going to put it near the spa for now and need to click in the front steps there and this is it wow this looks good I'm just going to stand over here so you can admire how great this house is The Pantasy Log Cabin, very unique design. It is a trapezoid, not an A-frame, so looks really, really good. I love the colour scheme. I love that you can remove the roof so easily and see inside. Lots of windows to let light in and look inside. So many cool building techniques in this, really easy to read instructions. If you're looking for an alternative brand, I would pick this one and this cabin will not disappoint. So everyone, get your bricks out. <laughs>